These are the seven things you need to consider before searching up for a domain name. What's up guys, I'm James of Seacoast and here we're going to be giving you seven steps before you go ahead, search and register your first domain name or any other domain names. These tips will ensure that you get a good domain name for your niche, helps rank for SEO, and is generally going to be a better choice going forward in creating a website on. Let's get started with number one, which is going to be the structure of your domain name. Of course, you have to bear in mind things like having the HTTPS, the www dot, which you can also remove from your domain name, your domain name itself, and then a course at ending. This could be anything like .com, .co.uk, .org, .net. There's plenty out there to choose from. So first things first, put the structure together and write down your whole domain name. Does it suit you, your country code, the place that it wants to serve? It could be worldwide. So for instance, you might go for a .com. If you're a UK business that wants to stick strictly to the UK, you might consider getting a .co.uk. Or if this domain name's part of your business name, you might consider buying multiple TLDs. TLDs are the endings to your domain. Now let's move on to number two, and this is very important. This is gonna be the domain name itself. Things to remember here is gonna be short and memorable. Things like Apple, Google, Bing. They're short, they're memorable. You can then suggest it to other people or remember it yourself when using them. So consider whether you're using your name or an actual name for the business or website is gonna be better for you. You're much more likely to click on google.com rather than tomrogers123-5.com. Keep it short, keep it simple, and keep it effective. If your domain name or brand name is not a fictional one, you should consider adding relevant keywords within your domain. To give you an example here, if you want to rent out studios in London, you might consider getting londonstudios.co.uk. That will also contain the keywords of which what you want to rank for. So it's gonna help for articles, it's gonna help for people searching, and people are gonna be much more likely to click on your website if the domain name also matches their search query. You can throw in some keywords about your product, the area that you service, or anything else that you think is gonna be relevant. Again, making sure to keep it short. Number four. This tip's gonna be not to use unusual hyphens, symbols, or anything that's gonna make it harder to remember. If your website domain name's called myweddingcakes.com, it's gonna be much easier to remember than my-weddingcakes123.com. A user could have an error leading them to a completely other website, frustration, and they're not using your service altogether, and search engines tend to show the more clearer, shorter domains first. The rule of thumb is to think if I've told somebody at lunchtime, at work, by the time they get back, have their evening meal with their family, would they remember the domain name to suggest it to them. If they can't, consider changing the domain name. Number five, the TLD, so the ending of your domain name. Have a think about what's going to suit you best. We mentioned this at the start to do with whether you're going to be .com, whether you're going to be by location only. This really helps with purpose, function, or type of business. You could be an app, so you might want to choose .app. You might run a worldwide business, so you want to choose .com. Or you might have a small boutique shop in the UK, so you might want to choose .co.uk. Make sure you get one that suits you, your business, and your relevance. Number six is just highlighting the importance of using a .com domain for international exposure. We all know that .com is known worldwide and is going to be much more clicked on than some Something else that isn't within their area. For my personal searches and because my cookies, my location, I'm going to be shown mostly websites with a .com, .co.uk, perhaps .net. If you're in Greece, you might get shown .com, .gr, and specific countries get suggested first. With .com, you know that internationally you're going to be recognized and trusted above other TLDs. Number seven is if you're going for a country specific brand, company, perhaps you're a merchandise shop, somewhere selling your stuff, and it really does help to go by country code here. For instance, Germany might go for DE, Greece for GR, the UK for .co.uk, and not only will you be suggested more to people within that country, it's going to help your brand get recognized in that particular country itself, especially if you're not trading elsewhere. Complications may arise if you have a .com domain and then you get orders from different countries because it's not entirely obvious where your shop is located or your business or your brand. So guys, I really hope that's helped you um, choose or search for your domain, find the perfect domain for yourself, and get your website started.